Hello everyone and thanks again for tuning in. In today's video, I would just like to go over uh, how I implemented dimming for the uh, light bus dimming for the uh, homemade cockpit. And also just to give a quick update of the uh, HSI. So um, once again, we have the uh, simulation running and we'll go ahead and start DCS BIOS. So we'll open up the two COM ports that we're using. We'll slide those over here. And once you open up the COM ports, um, the HSI will start homing to the uh, position of the needle in the sim. And um, you can see a proximity switch light just went on and off. So it's homing to the uh, north position um, doing this boot up routine. Uh, thanks to Ian and Warthog, I based the code off of um, work that they've done in the forums. And uh, I think I might just post the code as well in the, uh, in the description in the video text. Okay, so the proximity switch is lit and we're at the uh, north which matches um, the needle in the, in the uh, cockpit there. So we'll just uh, set, for example, rotate this to say 42. And it's kind of close, but I believe I'm losing some steps as this is rotating here. And uh, we'll try to rotate this to a new position here. Say 82. So that's kind of close. So it's basically it's tracking now the um, position in the simulator. But uh, I believe the stepper motor is a little bit small and I ordered some NEMA 08. So I'm gonna replace this guy with a larger motor so that uh, it'll move the needle quicker. It's kind of slow now. Okay, so as far as um, alternate methods of uh, controlling the HSI, I did get a digital to uh, synchro converter. This one was analog devices. I bought it used though. And the uh, second most significant bit, uh, this pin number two was broke. It's stuck at 1.53 volts, which is basically, it sees it as a zero. So without that bit working, um, uh, the HSI only would move in two quadrants, the needle would only move in two quadrants. Um, but the neat thing about it though is um, the Adreno could control this directly and it has a uh, servo output that could drive your um, your course or your heading or your uh, nav pointer. And uh, that's one that was just analog devices, but it's several other modules that you can find online. Um, like I say though, they're kind of expensive. And if you buy them used, uh, <laughs> you're taking a risk as well. Uh, so beyond that, this one here, like these dimmers were pretty, uh, not too expensive. You can get them for under five bucks on eBay. And uh, so basically the components we use for the dimming was um, a dimmer box, a um, single shaft, but two gang potentiometer. I can zoom in on the pins there. You, you might can tell that's two sets of pins and a, uh, a relay module. And what that does for us is, I'll just turn this over real quick. Um, so the light buses now are on their individual channels so that if you turn a console knob, um, you can dim that panel or any uh, panels you have tied to your uh, console dimmer box. And same for, this is auxiliary 
instruments. You can dim that bus. So that's what that allows you to do. And as well, if you go to the cockpit and if you turn off your power to your buses, like for example, turn off the generators and the battery bus, your, your panel lights will go out, you know, as it would in the uh, cockpit. So you would have to turn your um, switches back. Well, this particular one, I'm gonna turn the panel back over. The battery bus, if you turn on that switch, it's only two buses that will light up. And that's basically your your um, engine instruments and your flight instruments. Uh, those two buses. Um, but if you turn on your generators, all your uh, buses lights up. And you might can tell that um, through the uh, uh, back panel here. So basically, um, the relays allow you to put in logic to turn the buses on and off based on your electrical panel switches. So that's why we have the relay modules. And let's see what that looks like. For example, uh, basically we have a power supply, uh, 12 to 15 volts DC is fine. Um, something that maybe can put out three to five amps. And it goes to your uh, dimmer box, which is, uh, let me balance this here, which is this guy here. And basically I just removed this pot that was on the box and wired in our pot from the uh, electrical, uh, from the lighting panel, which is, uh, let me get spot the rest of this stuff, which is this guy here. So one set of uh, poles from the potentiometer goes to the Arduino so that the simulator can see what you're doing. And the other set of, uh, of that pot goes to the dimmer box to actually dim your panels. And the relay module is just used to turn the bus on and off based on uh, the position of the switch in your uh, simulator. And um, just to see what that code looks like. Um, let's grab, let's see, that was a lighting panel. Uh, let's see, lighting control panel. Okay, so. Um, I'll just scroll down a little bit here. I can get a good angle on it. Um, now one set of code, uh, I got this from Eon on another panel that he was helping me with. And uh, basically this declares the variables for the electrical panel so you can see what those switches are doing even though the sketch is for the um, lighting control panel. And near the end here, Um, this is some kind of uh, just logic based on looking at those three switches. It would turn the relays on and off uh, based on how the switches are set. <clears throat> and uh, the reason I'm kind of showing this code is um, it, you may not find um, this feature in the base um, DCS BIOS. But what you can do is each of these uh, uh, components have an, an address. And if you copy that address, um, kind of as it's shown here, and the last um, element in that address line 
if you delete that and put null there, um, you can use it in a, a sketch on a, another panel. And when that variable changes or updates, you can use these commands here to um, call up a routine and you know work your own logic based on the data that was in those um, uh, Pacific address spots. So that's basically how we uh, implemented the uh, lighting panel. Uh, got some code from uh, Eon and used it in that way to monitor the uh, electrical panel uh, toggle switches. And like I say, this one's not too bad. You can get these for uh, under five bucks. You can also get these relay modules for under five bucks and uh, just a double gain potentiometer and uh, you know wire it wire that up um, something similar like this and uh, and you can use that feature to uh, control your lighting bus now normally in a simulator when you're dealing with um, dimming buses and things like that usually you don't have a hard wire from a pot going straight to your dimmer box. Usually the pot only goes to the um, computer or microcontroller and then the controller sends a analog output voltage or PWM signal and controls the dimmer that way. Um, if you do it that way in software you got a lot more control over how your panel dims versus having a pot do it and then you're just kind of stuck with uh, a fixed set of results basically well that was about it and uh, just wanted to share that and uh, thanks again and uh, good luck with your cockpits <laughs>